Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! Hey everybody, this is Andrew and welcome to episode 83 of the Jaguar podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing the Jacksonville Jaguar signing former Detroit cornerback. Hey, start over again. Hey everybody, this is Andrew and welcome to episode 83 of the Jaguar podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing the Jags signing former Detroit Lions cornerback Rashawn Melvin. So let's jump into it. Uh, before we start, though, uh, just again, want to give a big shout out to our healthcare workers, doctors and nurses uh, that are helping us out through these tough times uh, during the coronavirus. Uh, you know, special thanks, uh, kudos, uh, keep up the great work. And uh, yeah, so um, let's jump into it. Uh, on March 24th, the Jags signed uh, former Detroit Lions cornerback Rashawn Melvin. Uh, I like this signing a lot. Um, ever since we lost uh, cornerback A.J. Boye uh, to the trade over uh, to the Denver Broncos, uh, we really needed this uh, signing as, and uh, as well as the uh, uh, Darquez uh, Denard deal kind of falling through. Um that was bad, and now we finally have a uh, veteran cornerback that will help us uh, in the secondary, and uh, I just really think that's great because it couldn't have come at a better time. Um, so the Jags sign, uh, you know, Rashawn Melvin to a one-year, two point two five million dollar deal, and um, you know, after watching, uh, you know. Uh, Melvin's highlights. Uh, I, I really like this guy. He's a great open field uh, tackler. Um, and that's something that I felt like we really lacked in the secondary was uh, like our corners uh, didn't tackle very well. I didn't think AJ Bouye was a very good uh, open field tackler. Um, you know, there's that famous highlight where, uh, um, uh, what is it? The Titans running back. Um, I'm blanking on his name, but he stiff armed uh, AJ Bouye, and uh, it was really embarrassing. Just kind of how he uh, ran all over us. Um, Derrick Henry, that's what it was. Uh, Derrick Henry, um, you know, there's that that shot of him um, stiff arming AJ Bouye, and uh, kind of just running all over our defense, which was really embarrassing. But um, you know, I think Rashawn Melvin is a great open field tackler. Like I said. Um, and I like his highlight reel. I mean, he had some great uh, plays when he was over uh, playing for the Colts in 2017. Um, you know, uh, a lot of pass deflections. Um, he, you know, had some real great plays, great tackles uh, where he wrapped up and stopped uh, the wide receiver from getting a first down. Um, I've seen some of his interviews too, when he was, you know, playing for the Raiders, he's got a great attitude, um, you know, real positive. And I think he'll be a great, uh, addition to the locker room. Um, you know, hopefully be a leader in the locker room, real positive. We need that right now because, uh, that has not been a strong point for our team at all. And, um, you know, especially having Jalen Ramsey and all that stuff going on. Um, it was a little bit of a show. But, um, you know, looking at, uh, looking at Rashawn Melvin's build too, you know, he's pretty tall. Um, he's 6'2", 194 pounds. So that's really a great thing to have in a corner is, is size. Uh, so they don't get overpowered by, uh, the opposing team's wide receiver. Um, you know, looking at, you know, his stats as well, you know, he's got 211 tackles, uh, 41 pass deflections and just, uh, four interceptions. You know, he doesn't have a lot of interceptions, but that's okay. Um, you know, he's got a lot of pass deflections and, um, that's really what we need. I mean, we really need, uh, a veteran corner and, and like I said, it couldn't have come, uh, at a better time. Um, and you know, I think with the draft, I see us probably going after a corner in the first round. It'll either be, uh, you know, Jeff Okuda from Ohio state, or it'll be uh, Florida University of Florida corner C.J. Henderson. 
Um, so I think we could get one of those guys, hopefully. And I, I think our corner, um, rather our secondary, uh, will be in, in a, a pretty good spot. You know, uh, we have Trey Herndon as well, uh, who, uh, you know, is a veteran. Um, you know, I think Herndon did okay last season, but I don't think, you know, with him alone, it's going to cut it for the, uh, for the secondary. So having, uh, Rashawn Melvin on the team is a, a very positive thing. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And looking forward to what happens when, you know, if we uh, end up getting a uh, first round pick uh, at the corner spot, if we get a CUDA or um, CJ Henderson, um, I think either one uh, will be a great addition to uh, this defense as well. But, um, you know, let me know how you feel about this signing. Uh, leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. Uh, leave me some feedback on Apple podcast. Uh, this is a podcast and that always helps me when I, you know, put together these episodes. If you're really bored, uh, you know, we're all in our houses, uh, quarantining, uh, stop by, uh, my Twitter feed at Jaguar podcast. Uh, you know, follow me or, or give me a tweet, uh, and I'll try to entertain you through this, uh, crisis. But, uh, uh, you know, other than that, go Jags and I'll see you next time. Hear it in our ground. Intimidation on to keep their hearts racing. Eating other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.